In this session, we'll talk about the file trigger. The file trigger is one of many so-called event triggers. The file trigger detects file changes from the underlying system. It could notify on changes like when a file has been created, changed, deleted, or renamed. Triggers are used to initiate or start a job. It does not only start a job, but also provide additional information. For example, about the file that was created, the folder it was located in. All additional information are dynamically stored in variables and are accessible from anywhere in the client during runtime. Some variables are temporary, like a file name or path of a folder. If you want to create tasks that use these values, it's important that you set a special setting on the job. In the main settings of the job, let's open this. Create a new job here. We have this uh, checkbox put job in queue. Checking this ensures that one file is processed at a time. It is very important when you try to use the associated variables. So we create this trigger from the trigger tab. Select file trigger. We would like to uh, monitor uh, test folder that we have created. Select this. And you can select the file mask. In this case we want to use check for txt files. Press OK. And as an example we will create a task here. It sends an email. And um, we want to include the new file in the email as an attachment. Also, let's send this to support. Also, we want to include the, the name of the job. So we click on this. Variables button here is located in almost every window. We can go to the tree from Visual Chrome variables to the active job and name. Uh, we can close it like this. Um, this email was sent, f sent from job and the job name here and now we want to include the attachment we can go further down or here we find the triggers and we find the file trigger and here we have the result variables these are the dynamic variables and we're clicking on adding an attachment the important values here are the folder value where the actual file should be picked up from and uh, the file mask let's say we want to use to pick up more than one file then we can use file cards here the reason well we already know where which folder we are monitoring so we could hard code it here but if we later change it in the trigger, this will point to the wrong direction. So it's better to use the variables here that will be updated dynamically when we change the, the values at the trigger level. So we open the variables window. Go here. And um, last trigger, file folder path. So we insert it here, the folder path, and we have the name which will be the, in the file, ma file mask. Now it will only pick up this this particular file. So we press OK here. OK. OK. So now we've created a job with this one email task. So Now we have this uh, test folder that we want to monitor.
here and we have this test file let's copy this to, to the location that we monitor now we see that the job started, job completed and we also see that we got an email and uh, we got um, in the body here let's open this in the body we can see that this email was sent from and the variable here that was and we also see the txt file that was attached here so this is how we can use the file trigger to create a job to pick up the actual file that was triggered and uh, use the variables to show any information or, or pick up the file so that's it for this session. Thank you.